This video provides an introduction to the Year 1, Semester 1 Physical Chemistry Analysis of Lemonade Practical. The aim of this practical is to determine the citric acid concentration and sugar content of a commercial lemonade. The primary learning objective is for you to gain familiarity with appropriately estimating the errors associated with a variety of standard laboratory equipment. Another objective is for you to practice treating errors in your analysis and learn how to correctly analyse and present your data. In the practical you will determine the citric acid concentration of the lemonade by titrating samples of it using a standard base and phenolphthalein as the indicator. The sugar content of the lemonade will be found by measuring the density of it. For the titration portion of the experiment you will first select two different items of glassware from a central store. You will also have a third item of glassware which will be a burette. Then, for each item of glassware, you will use an auto pipette, make sure you have watched the auto pipette video, to add a known volume of lemonade to the glassware. Two drops of the indicator will also be added. You will then need to use the graduations on the glassware to measure the volume of liquid. You will also need to estimate the error associated with that reading. Make sure you have also watched the errors video. The standard base will then be added until the indicator in the solution changes colour indicating that you have reached or passed the end point. At this stage you will again need to read the volume and estimate the error in the volume reading. These two results will enable you to determine the volume of base that has been added along with the associated error. To find the density of the lemonade you will first need to measure out a specific volume of lemonade. Again the error in this volume will need to be estimated. This measured volume will then be weighed and the error associated with the balance used also recorded. The density of the lemonade, with its associated error, can then easily be determined since it will be equal to the mass of the lemonade sample divided by the volume of that sample. When analysing your data, you will need to use the stoichiometric reaction between citric acid and sodium hydroxide which has been given to you in the lab manual. Using this, and knowing the volume of acid used, the concentration of the base, and volume of base required, you will be able to calculate the concentration of citric acid along with its associated error. Note that in this calculation you may assume that the only quantity that has any error associated with it is the volume of base. Comparing the results you obtain for the three items of glassware you have used will enable you to comment on how the precision of the apparatus affects the result. You will also see that a relationship linking the density of sugar solutions to the sugar content is provided in the lab manual. Using this and your measured density you will be able to determine the sugar content of your lemonade. Note that in this calculation there will be errors associated with the mass and volume measured as well as one associated with the model function. This means that in order to evaluate the error in your result you will need to correctly combine these errors. This concludes the analysis of lemonade video.